right, so my 15 a really good swim. I, when I looked at it, it's probably one of your fastest in season times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's my second fastest in season. So how were you able to do that swimming pretty much all by yourself? Um, I've been training hard this year and um, <laughs> just really trying to, uh, you know, push the pace in practice every day. And um, a lot of the times in practice, there's swimming in a single file line in the distance lane. You know, there's not that many of us. So used to trying to push the pace you know, on your own, not racing anybody, so um, I was just focused, you know, I'd practice that every day, and so I was just focused on keeping it in my own race, keeping it in my head, and just pushing my own pace and making sure I was uh, having a good swim for myself. Well, the, you know, we talked in the 400, you took the pace out really hard and just held on. Were you, did you think you might want to try that for the 1500? I've tried that way too many times in the 1500 without success, so I'm not, I'm definitely not trying that in that race. <laughs> totally different animal. <laughs> so is it is the goal for you to, to work on negative splitting in that race and, and coming back stronger? Yeah, in the mile. Um, that's that's my plan. Negative or even, you know. Um, I think it's a little easier at the end of the season when you have some some uh, rest in you and some your legs are a little more fresh and you get some easy speed. I think uh, at the end of the season it's a lot easier to be closer to an even split. But um, in my past I've had better success in season. Um, when I try and come back in that race and negative split it for whatever reason, you know, just get myself warmed up for a little and then go. So, from a mental standpoint, when you're, you know, you're feeling good and ready for the mile, and your 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 plan is to make a split, is it hard for you to say, okay, just ease back on the pedal when you want to, you know, just take it out because you're feeling good? Yeah, it is. That's what. It took me so long to learn that, you know. Um, that's what I attribute a lot of my success to last summer. I finally learned to uh, just kind of pump the brakes with all that adrenaline and just kind of uh, let the race come to me, not try and force it right away. You know, it's a long race. Um, you have a lot of time to make up any distance you may lose or uh, really just kind of I always try and focus on getting under that minute pace so I, you have a lot of time to build into you know, so you can start double O and then build into nine highs, nine highs, and then nine lows. So that's uh, what I try and focus on. So how do you usually break it down? Is it first half, last half, or by four hundred? Um, five hundreds, three fives. Normally is what um, Eddie, my coach, uh, looks at. He gets five hundred split and breaks each five hundred down, and by two fifties and by hundreds, and uh, just trying to like even split each two fifty and the five hundred. But a general trend downward, and of course, the last two fifty just shut up and go. Will they have me tomorrow when you talk to him? I hope so. Hopefully, I won't see him tomorrow. It's Sunday, <laughs> day off. But <laughs> yeah, hopefully, uh, he was happy with that. You know, it was hard conditions. But you could really feel the wind going that way. I mean, it felt like you could, it was a difference. But um, I'm not gonna say you could, you could feel a little different. You know, it's a little easier. So it's a little give and take with that. But. Um, it's just kind of frustrating when you're trying to swim and you feel all the wind. It's uh, you think about that a little more than you think about the wind pushing you back. So, and so with a time like this, and you're pretty good. What other meets do you have leading up to the World Championship? Um, I think I'm gonna do all of the uh, Grand Prix and then. There's a Texas Senior Circuit Series that I'll probably go to a couple meets at and then um, probably go to a meet in the Woodlands, which is my hometown, and I still represent my uh, old club team, so I'll probably swim a meet for them, with them at that pool, so. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, thanks. thanks.